plaintiff, Shannon Sandlin, dated the defendant for two years, and she says he was so physically abusive that he put her in the hospital with a concussion after he dropped her on her head. Shannon's suing for breach of contract and a PlayStation 3. Defendant Jeremy Johnson insists he never physically abused Shannon, and she only got a concussion after she accidentally fell while they were on their way to have sex. Jeremy's countersuing for breach of contract. Start with you. Okay, Your Honor, I'm here today because I'm finally out of an abusive relationship with a defendant. We dated for the past two years. Um, he became verbally and physically abusive to me in that period of time, the past 14 months. I guess is when he started being physically abusive. That's Doing not what? He put me in the hospital with a concussion wow. this past that, March. What did he do to cause that? He dropped I'll me. I'll let you respond in a minute. Pardon? He dropped me. Um, I actually fell on my head and I had like knots all over. What, he picked you up and slammed you? Is that what you're saying? He picked me up, yeah. Intentionally? And, yeah. You all were arguing? Yes, we were arguing. I just gotten off work and um, he asked me to pick him up from a friend's house. He had been drinking all night, and I gave him a ride home, and, you know, we were arguing in the car. As soon as we got into the house, you know, he he okay. threw me up against the fridge and the kitchen. Did you file a police report? Yes, I did, and I have um, a hospital convicted? record here. Um, I ended up dropping the charges. Why? Because I got back together with him. Okay. You say you have uh, the hospital record? Yes, I record. do. Do you have the police report? Yes, I do. Why don't you read to me, thank you, Dora. Read to me where you told the police what you just told me. Read it in there. Okay. Um, well, the police report actually doesn't have all of that, the detailed Why? information. You didn't tell the police that? Um, it's actually not on this. It's on my hospital record, Your Honor. Why didn't you tell um, the police that? Because it would have been lying. I'm... I'm not sure why they you didn't. You don't know why you didn't tell the police I a man caused you a concussion? Mm -hmm. My body was covered in bruises. I know. And, and I I'm saying you don't know why you didn't tell the police that. I did tell, but for some reason it's not in front of me right mm -hmm. here, Your Honor. Okay. Sir? Uh, Your Honor, um, what happened was uh, when I picked her up and I was drinking like she had said, and we hit the ground together because I'd stumbled and fell, and then she got mad because I dropped her. But she's not as innocent as she makes herself sound, Your Honor. Um, Why were you picking her up again? Because we were going to, we, we, we had sorted everything out on the car ride home from my buddy's house. Uh -huh. We had moved on from that, and we were going to, you know, yes. Yes, yes, Your Honor. You all live together? That's correct, Your Honor. And then we were going, we, were, we went back to the house and we were going to bed. And I picked her up because I was carrying her to the bedroom. Why? Uh, to do, uh... Why no? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not asking you that. <laughs> I assume I missed something while reading, reading the report. Was she drunk? Is that why you had to carry her? No, no, no. Like, she had her legs around me. Going from the car into the house. No, we were already in the house. Uh -huh. And then, you know, we we're going to uh, have a little fun. Yeah. And so I picked <laughs> so her up. So I picked her up. her up and I'm walking, you know, and then I stumbled and I fell and I fell on top of her and she banged her head on the floor. And then she got mad and she was already mad because there was girls at the place where I was at with my buddy. But it wasn't anything like that. So yeah. you picked her up to show affection. Yes, sir. And you expected her to respond because, like you said, you were going back to the room or That's you were correct, going to have relations, right? That's correct, Your Honor. And boom, she accidentally, this is your story, she accidentally falls and hurts her head. And instead of being prepared to make love, she doesn't believe it's an accident. She believes it's intentional. Ma'am? Your Honor, I did not put my legs around him. I did not want him to pick me up. And as soon as we got into the house, he pushed me up. I told him I had to use the bathroom. And he said, where are you going? Why are you Why disrespecting me? Why did you have to me? tell him you had to use the bathroom? Because he wasn't trying to let me leave the room. We were in the kitchen. And what he was threw he me saying up. to you to keep you from leaving the room? He said, where are you going? I'm talking to you. Why are you disrespecting me? And he pushed me that's up not, against the That's not the way it happened. Why yes, it? Is. And he pushed me up against the fridge and then I ran into the living room and he tackled me and I fell on the floor. And at that point he twisted my left ankle. Oh, okay. Yes, you did. 
And then he, after that, he picked me up. And at one point in time, I was on his shoulders and he dropped me. And that's when I hit my head and I had a concussion. Okay. I see that. And then you also told the hospital that yes. he had assaulted you before yeah. and that he assaulted you that night. But you see what happens? And I want women who are watching to understand that. See what happens when you don't call the police? No way of me knowing. This is your side of the story. Had the police come there and you had told the police this, I would have said, okay. She told the police there right on the spot. Then she told the hospital that he threw an element of suspicion in there because you didn't tell the police this. And that is what a reasonable person who has been assaulted would do. So let's get to your breach of contract you're suing him for. What happened? Okay. In November of 2009, um, I had some money. He needed a car and I had money to front him the money for a Volkswagen Jetta. And I took that money out of my savings account. I have a bank statement here. How much? The first withdrawal that I took out mm -hmm. was for 3,800 mm -hmm. and that was on the fourth. He, we went to look at the car together, mm -hmm. but he ended up not okay. buying it. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I still had, you know, we had the money, mm -hmm. but then he went and purchased a car later that week. Um, he went while I was at work. You gave him cash? Yes, sir. Okay. And was he to repay you, obviously? Yes, in January, which never right. happened. How much are you asking for today on the 4, car? 4900 Your Honor. 4900 on the car? And a PlayStation that 300 of it's from a PlayStation 3 that I So you're asking for 4600 on the car? Yes, sir. All right. And uh, he hasn't paid you anything? No. And he has the car now? Yes, he does. All right. And you all were living together, obviously, when he took possession of the car and took possession of your money? Yes, sir. All right. Sir, what do you want to tell me about the car? All right. And the loan for the car. All right, Your Honor. Um, that what she's saying was something about January or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's not at all true. Mm -hmm. See, what the agreement that we made was um, that she would lend me the money, um, and that I would or not lend me the money, but she would give me the money, and I would sign the title of my truck over to her, and I picked her up because I was carrying her to the bedroom. Why? Uh, to do. Uh, Why well, no? That's <laughs> me. <laughs> that. Plaintiff Shannon Sandlin dated the defendant, and she claims he was so physically abusive that he put her in the hospital with a concussion after he dropped her on her head. He did have transportation already? Yeah. He had a Sorry. truck, um, uh -huh. a Ford Ranger truck, but he wanted something that was more gas efficient. What was the intent with his truck? Because he's about to tell me that the agreement was you. He gives you the truck for forty nine hundred. Isn't that what you're about to tell me? Yes, Your Honor. Right. Your so Honor, what, car, what was the intent for the truck? Ma'am, you all live together. He already had a truck. What was mm -hmm. the intention to, for the disposition of the truck. The truck he um, signed over to me, but that wasn't until June because he signed lost over his, to you. Why? He was supposed to sell the truck, but he couldn't because he lost his license because uh -huh. he didn't pay child support. Okay. And so that's the only reason why. So where's the truck? It's in his possession, but it's in my name. All right. So, so he wouldn't give me it. But what? how did you get it in your name? He signed it over to me. Um, I didn't I didn't want the truck. But you accepted it. I wanted him to sell. You it. accepted it. I have the title in my name. Thank yes, you. I do. All right. And the only thing is he has the truck, which is in your name. Yes. Your Honor. And you say that the deal was you give her the truck while she gives you the money to buy the other car. That's correct. Your Honor. Do you have the car? Uh, yes, Your Honor. So you have the car and the truck. Um, the truck is parked in my backyard, Your Honor. But you have both. Yes, sir. Good enough. And the PlayStation, what happened with the PlayStation? I purchased a PlayStation 3 and it was not a gift. And he was supposed to give that back to me. I tried taking sir? that. PlayStation 3. D yes, Your Honor. She got me a, a PlayStation 3. Were you supposed 3? to give it back? No, Your Honor. She gave it to me for Christmas uh, two years ago. And is one... that true or not? No, it's not true. Yes, all right. So you all live together how long? About two years. When did you give it to him, ma'am? Or loan it I or whatever? I purchased it in November. Pardon me? I purchased it in November. November of what? 2009. What date in November? About the middle of November. Sounds like a Christmas gift. Now two people living together two years. He leaves and now you want a PlayStation back, ma'am. Breach of contract for 5000 How so? 
Your Honor, because um, I, if she's saying that um, the truck wasn't part of the agreement mm -hmm. that we had, that that was the agreement we made when she right. gave me the money, she asked me how I was going to repay her the money. I told her I would sign the title of my truck over to her. And that when the she truck, has title to the yeah, truck and she has and, and the car, you have title to that. That's correct, Your Honor. All right. So you have title to your car that you bought. She has title to the truck to fulfill the deal. And you have possession of that truck. The truck is parked in my house because she just left North Carolina. Right. That means Rebecca. you have possession. That's correct, Your Honor. All right. But it's in her name. That's correct, Your Honor. All right. We're going to give her her truck because it's hers. And the title is in her name. We're going to let you keep your car. Easy resolution. Your Honor. Yes. May I speak? Um, I did not want the truck. Uh, Ma'am, that's sign enough. Title. You took the truck, title and everything else. He took the car, title and everything else. You guys have a good day. Both your cases are dismissed with the exception of you getting her the truck. You must get her the truck in 30 days. Have a good day. He was verbally and physically abusive to me in the past That's 14 months. That's not true months. at all. That is That's very much true. true. Ask any when, I dro when I dropped you, it was a sexual thing. No, it was not, Yes, it Jeremy. was. It was and a sexual thing. We had squashed it on the way back you to the house. Lie. He lies yeah, his way well, through anything. Oh, that's not the way it works. That's exactly the way it oh, is. No, You're that isn't the way it liar, works. Jeremy. No, yeah, right. Okay. Okay, yeah, and I deserve to get dropped on my head. That's what you told your no, friends, No, no, I did not. I never said you Okay, and disrespecting you when I leave the room, that's disrespectful. Everybody knows that you're stronger than me, Jeremy. What are you talking about? Whatever. Whatever. I was, I had multiple bruises from you several okay. times. Okay, I had multiple bruises from you. Oh, right.